This next video shows the multifunction 520 machine being uh, used to cut the same 3 quarter by 2 inch bar stock that we have just done in the previous video showing the IGBT model. Now here in Canada we carry both the IGBT and the MOSFET unit. Um, we find that the MOSFET unit is a nice little unit, uh, it's a reliable unit, it doesn't perform the same way as the power ultra, I'll be perfectly honest about that, and actually we're going to see that with the uh, next cut. But for the weekend hobbyist, it's a very nice little unit to have. You've got a 50 amp plasma cutter, you have the 200 TIG and uh, stick welder all incorporated into the one unit. So anyway, here's our bar stock, and we're going to attempt to get as clean a cut as we can with it. What I find with the uh, MOSFET units, they tend not to have a nice straight cut. Uh, you, you tend to get that tailing loop on it and that, that rooster tail. Uh, on, on small stuff, half inch and, and, and lower, it's absolutely no problem. It works just fine. It's only when you get into the big heavy metal that uh, then you start to run into this problem. At least I do. I know customers of mine, uh, they perform far nicer cuts than I could ever do. But here we go, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. the IGBT, but having said that, it does cut the three-quarter inch. Uh, yes, it's a rougher cut, far rougher cut compared to well, compared to that. Uh, you can see the tailing that we talked about, the uh, looping off like that. Whereas with the IGBT, it's a, it's a far straighter cut, but nonetheless. It does do what it's supposed to do. Anyway, it's a little rougher cut, but it's certainly the, uh, if you look at the Supercut 50 video showing the half inch cut, you'll see that again, with half inch it handles it very, very nicely. And uh, you don't get this, you get a nice clean cut. It's when you get into the three quarter and seven eighths, it's difficult to uh, cut with it. 
but again, you have to ask yourself, am I ever going to cut three-quarter or half-inch? Thank you.